Good morning, good morning, people. Update, a new update. Um, I think it's, I know it's after 1030. It's probably 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. in New Orleans, Monday morning. Just found out that the French market is shut down. They shut down the French market, the oldest operating market in America. If you've been to New Orleans, I know you guys are very familiar with the French market. They shut that down. I didn't see that coming. They didn't see that coming because last night when I had my dinner at Louisiana Pizza Kitchen, I noticed the chairs were set up. So this morning, excuse my voice, this is kind of raspy. Um, the chairs were set up. So I said, okay, the French market's still up open because they got the chairs set up overnight. So when I'm driving in this morning, I noticed all of them was gone. I said, oh Lord. They shut the French market down because nobody would leave their chairs and stuff out overnight if they didn't intend on working the next day. So now I know that the French market has been shut down. And I don't know, I, I saw it coming. They systematically start br breaking down, shutting stuff down. So I guess eventually they're going to shut us down. Eventually they're going to shut us down. Maybe, I don't know. Our stuff open air, maybe not. But Cafe Dumont open, so who knows? It's day to day, and while I'm here, just want to thank everybody that came out and supported me, man, all through the week. All the college students, all y'all came through and found me. City was deserted. I know a lot of people going through a lot of stuff, but y'all really blessed me. Um, damn, even when I got to work this morning, they had kids waiting for me at my job, man. College students waiting at my job to buy my products. So I just want to thank everybody. I guess my only step is when they shut me down legally out here on Jackson Square. I'm going to self-quarantine, work out, do some construction projects and stuff in solitude. And then I'll start going to see my family and friends and stuff like that or whatever. But before I do that, you know, I don't feel sick at all or whatever, but you never know. So I just want to play it safe. So I'm going to do a little isolation and monitor my temperature and my throat. And you know, my own, and make sure I don't have any symptoms or whatever before I just think I'm well and go around my family and friends because I've been out here selling art and stuff, even though you know I fist bump or whatever. But you just never know, you know. And I kept my distance from customers or whatnot, but handling money and you know, just even just being in close proximity to people, you just never know. So I'm gonna just play it safe, you know. We do the responsible thing, quarantine myself. Hopefully by then we'll have some test sites in the city. Get tested. Hopefully they put a test site in New Orleans East um, for those people out there, you know. And um, hopefully they put some in the French quarters, mid city, uptown, you know, the major spots, West Bank. You know, so that's the latest. They shut down the French market. It's getting real. It's getting real and uh, certain curfews are in place on restaurants and bars. So to be continued, you know our mayor, she trying to keep certain um, places open, but the federal government, they supersede all that. They gotta do what the federal government tell them to do at the end of the day, it's a chain of command. So um, I, I keep y'all posted, I keep y'all posted. If I'm open, I keep y'all posted. If I catch the corona, I keep y'all posted. If I'm healthy and having fun with friends, whatever the outcome may be, is, is God's plan and y'all be safe, y'all stay prayed up, y'all stay healthy, and most definitely stay educated later.